the floating point in this video we are going to see about the floating point arithmetic uh, in this floating point consists of two parts one is a mantissa part and another one is the uh, radix and its exponent part okay so radix is nothing but base whether it is a binary number if it is a binary number then the radix is 2 if it is a decimal number then the radix will be 10 so this is nothing but base okay r is nothing but radix or base and the exponent then m is the mantissa part which is nothing but a floating point value now let us take an example 16.14 into 10 power 7 here this can be treated as uh, this point when you move towards here left that is towards left this point you are moving towards left means here you have to increase the exponent okay you have to add the exponent so how many points you are forwarding that much value you have to increase so here we are moving when we move like this just one point then it becomes eight since you have moved one point now you are moving two points towards left means this decimal point you are moving uh, two point towards left means it becomes you have to add two that is 10 power 9 so this is how you have to write when you move towards the right say for example this uh, this point you are moving towards here means now you can represent it as 10 power 6 you have to reduce okay so now the, when the point is coming here then you have to reduce it by two value that is 7 minus 2 because you, are, you have moved two uh, uh, two points towards right this decimal point you are moving towards this which means the mantissa is moved towards left because you are pushing this mantissa towards us that's what so now it becomes 10 power 5 so this is how you represent the floating point so now uh, already we have seen the addition and subtraction in addition uh, what you have to do is you have to make the exponent to be same see for example here it is 10 power 2 and here it is 10 power minus 1 these two you cannot add in order to add you have to make the both the exponent to be same so for that what you do is normally you will select the uh, either the lower value or the higher value so there are two methods shift to left any or one of the above digit to make the exponent equal but this results in loss of the most significant bit then shifting the right causes the loss of the least significant bits digits which may result in less accuracy and this is preferable so when you move towards so suppose i want to make this as 10 minus 1 means i have to move towards this this point will be moved so in that we we lose the uh, most significant bit whereas here if you move it towards this then you will not be losing so shifting towards right will be a better option so what we are doing is this we are shifting towards this mantisa this is mantisa so this you are moving towards right so point now i have to make it to two so how i can make my moving this point towards this so i can add a zero and then point now it becomes zero okay so when you move towards left this decimal point moves towards left this you have to add which means you are moving the mantissa towards right that's the meaning see here we have moved, we have added three zeros so that the mantissa is moved, moved towards right whereas the decimal point is moved towards left so let us take anyone since we are moving towards left we have to add that much uh, uh, that much number of decimal places to the exponent so here previously it was minus one and we have added three zero so minus one means this becomes zero minus one plus one means it is zero then zero plus two more digits so it is 10 power 2 now it has been normalized now you can add this is how you do for subtraction also whereas for multiplication and division there is no need for adjustment of the exponents you just multiply and we have to bias the exponent that we will see now so before that we will see again what is the decimal the floating point representation of i triple e 754 uh, format 
so it, it this whatever here it is given for that single precision floating point number that's what we are going to consider now that is double precision also but first we will consider the single precision floating point number so the which which is nothing but representation of 32 bits the this portion that is uh, floating point representation in 32 bits so this is a 32-bit uh, representation where the first bit will be the sign bit that's what here given sign bit if it is a zero then it is a positive number if it is one then it is a negative number then eight bits the next eight bits represent the exponent that is the uh, two power whatever is coming that will be placed here so first exponent first sign bit then exponent then the mantissa part mantissa part is nothing but the value so here this is nothing but it occupies some 23 bits here so now what happened uh, in general we represent it like this decimal number we represent it like this that is minus one power s s is nothing but sign bit it is nothing but a zero or a one okay if it is a zero it is a positive number if it is a one it is a negative number then into one plus one is implied here there is no need to place this one it is implied so there will be no position for that if, if, if it occupies one then this number of bit will be 24 okay whereas we we consider only 32 bits and this one is implied that's what here it is given and then plus mantisa mantisa is after decimal point whatever the value comes that will be placed here and then into two power exponential So here, two exponent minus 127 because 127 is the bias for a 32 bit because here we have 8 bit. Okay, so 8 bit is 2 power uh, 8. Uh, it's not exactly 8, it is 2 power 7 because it starts from 0. Here, 0, 1, 2, here, 3, 4, 5, six and seven so zero to seven so it is two power seven is 128 okay so one less for zero so it is 127 so whatever the exponent coming minus 127 will give that so my 127 is the bias now we'll see how to do that Okay, now 32 float, that's what whatever I have explained the previous slide, that's what I here is given more clearly. Minus 1 power 0 means 0 is the, uh, here you will enter a 0 or 1 because it's a binary number. So 0 or 1. If it is 0, then it is for positive numbers, 1 is for negative numbers. And the exponent is 127 here. It is 127 as a biased representation. Then mantisa, implied is 1, no leading zeros, single 1 to the left of the decimal point so if it is like this 1.001010 means the mantissa portion is this the one is implied okay so this portion is said to be mantissa now we'll see decimal value of a normalized floating point in ieee 754 standard you can represent it like this that is minus one s into one point m format this is called one point because one is implied there is no need to represent it in this 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 will not come in this so when you are writing like this you have to add this one okay into 2 power e minus bias e is nothing but whatever the exponent here then bias is 127 for 32 bit it is 127 since we are using 32 bits we have to use a 127 as bias okay now we'll see an example here this is a floating point number given now we'll see what are all the exponent part mantissa part and sign bit now this is a sign bit so how you can represent minus one power zero if you write minus one point zero s is zero here then into one point in m you have to write this okay this will be substituted here into two power e minus means what is the value of e that you have to find that will be substituted minus 127 now uh, the same thing has been uh, written like this uh, the same example we have taken and here we will see floating point to decimal what we have seen is decimal value to floating point so now we will see floating point to decimal 
Okay, so now this is a floating point given. Here just uh, we have shown how it can be represented, but now we'll see uh, floating point to decimal conversion. So the same example, the same data we have taken. So it is given here S1, E1. This is exponent part and this is mantissa part. So here sine bit is zero, biased exponent is 129. If you find it's equivalent, it is 129. Because, okay, see here, uh, this is zero, isn't it? Two power zero. And this is one, two power one, two power two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it is two power seven. So two power seven is 128. Okay, here two power zero is one. So total it is 129. All the others, because of zero, you will strike it out. So 129 is the value stored in exponent, then which is given in decimal value. Then mantissa, this is for mantissa. You can find out the equivalent value here. Now decimal equivalent. So if you take this bias is two power eight minus one because here eight bits are there. So eight minus, how you find this 127? How you can say bias is 127 is nothing but here we have eight bits. So eight minus one and then minus one. This is what uh, meant by bias. So see here. Yes, so two e power minus one minus one. So that's what here we have written here. Two power e minus one is exponent power. This is so total number of bits is eight bits. Eight minus one here minus one is one two power um, two power seven. Okay, two power seven minus one. Two power seven is one twenty eight. Minus one is one twenty seven. Okay, so this is the bias, and this is a standard bias for all the thirty two bits. So no need to find out again and again. You can take bias as 127. Now, decimal value. How you can find the equivalent decimal value? Now, this is already in floating point representation. How you find the decimal value equivalent? Now, minus 1, you have to write it in this format. Which format? This format you have to write. First, you have to transfer this format to this format. So now, minus 1 in power 0. Because 0 is the sign bit. Then into 1 point M format. Here, the this into one point m into two power e minus bias. Now we will see how to write this one point m. So one point m is nothing but this. This is the mantissa part that is written here. Then into what is it? Into two power e minus bias. E is nothing but what? Exponent. Just now we have found it as 129. This exponent part equivalent, we have found 129. So 129 minus bias is 127. So when you subtract, it becomes 2 power 2. Then here you can find the uh, value. That is equivalent value in uh, decimal. So now since it is 2 power 2, you have to make it in such a way that uh, uh, you have to uh, you have to remove this exponent. So how you can remove the exponent by moving the decimal point. So that what happens since it is a 2 power 2, uh, what you will do? So you move this dot here, 1, 2. Now it becomes 0, is it? 2 power 0. So now 2 power 0 is uh, no need to uh, write here. So 1, 0, 1 point. See, this point is moved towards here and it becomes 2 power 0. And uh, it's a normal uh, binary fraction without any exponent. So now here we have written this. Now you, you now it is easy to find the equivalent because if it is like that, it will be difficult for us to find its equivalent because when you multiply 2 power 2, the value changes. So that is why we multiply this and then make the point either move towards right or left or right and then we make this as a full binary fraction without any uh, this exponent okay so now 101.01 now you find the uh, binary equivalent uh, that is a decimal equivalent so what happened this is as usual see one here see this is what now if you take this this one is this one into two power zero then zero one into two power one then 1, 2 power 2. Okay. So then after this, you have to check. That is 2 power minus 1 because it is a fraction. So you have to do it as a, it, there is no need for finding 2 power 0. The first itself for fraction, it starts from 1 by 2, 1 by 2 power uh, 2. That is, that is uh, 
1 by 2 power 1 and 1 by 2 power 2 then 1 by 2 power 3 and so on there is no 1 by 2 power 0 it is not there it is not there. Only here we have 2 power 0. Here the fraction it starts from this. Okay. So now how you will find 0 into 2 power minus 1. 2 power minus 1 is nothing but 1 by 2. Then 1 plus 1 into 2 power minus 2. That is 1 by 2 power 2 is nothing but 2 power minus 2. You can represent like this. Then all these are zeros. So all these are zeros. So just leave it. Till the 0 you can write. So, for example, here 0 and here 1, then you have to write it. Since all the values are 0, we just leave. We take only these values. Now, when you find it, here it is 4, here it is 0, and for this it is 1. Then for this, 1 by 2 is uh, here 0. So, 0 into 1 by 2, it is 0. So, now we will find this 1 by 4. 1 by 4 is 0 0.25. Now, add all these values, we get the 5.25. This is the decimal equivalent of this number okay now we'll see some more example uh, the step by step process of representing a decimal number to floating point what we have seen is from the floating point how you can find its decimal we'll have one more example uh, given a decimal value how you can represent it in a floating point format so first you have to find the binary equivalent so 286 equivalent is this and 0.75 equivalent is this okay now now so first step is find its binary format now it is not in an ieee format what is meant by ieee format it should be in this format Okay, sine bit, exponent, and mantissa. If it is like this only, then it can be called as a uh, IEEE format. So you have to convert it into an IEEE format. That is what a floating point representation. So now we have to find out. So then first, in first step, find the binary equivalent. Then normalize the binary number. Now we have to uh, normalize. What do you mean by normalize? So that it will be in this format. One point. M format. We have to make it as one point M format. Whereas the point is here. So if the till it comes here, till the point comes here, we have to move. So now if you see this value, see point one initially it was two power zero. Okay. Now this is with two power zero. That is what we have to take. Okay. Then we move this value, this point here. Now what happened? It is 2 power 1. Since we are moving the decimal, when we move the decimal point towards left, then we have to increase the, add the exponent. If it is, if we are moving towards right, we have to subtract. Okay. So now point like this. See here, this is moved here. So now we have moved 2 point. So it is 2 power 2 and so on. When, so finally we have, when we move, we have moved this the point, decimal point, eight times so it is two power eight so this is this will be considered as a hidden one this is nothing but one point m so this is your mantissa part okay so now we have to shift the decimal point such that we get a one at the very end one at the very end means this then that is it should be in this one point m format this is a step one step one is and this is step two since we have shifted binary points left eight times to normalize it exponent value 8 should be added with bias because we have now we have got the exponent value to be 8 greatest value suppose if we have moved uh, 5 times 2 per 5 and that itself it has come here okay which means our exponent is 5 the normalization is the process in which mantis or bits are either shifted right or left and add or subtract the exponent accordingly such that the most significant bit is 1 Now, we'll see the, the same example, the step 3. In step 3, we have to bring it to this format. Bias is 2 power e minus 1 minus 1. Whereas e is nothing but what we have found here, 8. Okay. So, substitute that 8, 8 minus 1. It is nothing but your 127. So, now the biased exponent e is represented as 
e exponent value obtained after the normalization step two plus bias. Now what we do is eight plus one twenty seven. So convert this to binary and we have our exponent value as e equal to one zero zero one one. This is our exponent value because we have moved it towards eight and since we have moved towards this and we have the number eight. Okay, since we are moving towards this, uh, the mantisa is moved towards uh, or either shift to right or left. Here, what we are doing, this, this is the mantisa part. So the mantisa part is shifted towards right. In which case, we have to subtract. If it is shifted towards left, we have to, uh, sorry, here right means we have to subtract and uh, sorry, right means we have to add and left means we have to subtract the exponent. Since we are moving the mantisa towards the right, what we have to do? See, if it is right means we have to add. The, this is my decimal point we are moving left. But if you take the mantisa part, we are moving towards right. So in which case we have to add. That is why here we are doing addition. See here, 8 plus 127 or else will subtract 8 minus 127 because in the previous example uh, i told you to subtract see here 129 minus 127 okay this is for floating point to decimal conversions whereas here what we are doing is decimal to floating point conversion so what we have done is 8 plus 127 so now it is 135 the this the binary equivalent of 135 is this is Right. So that is what here we have written. It is a positive number. So we have given zero here. And this is the eight bit exponent part. So we have done that. Then about the floating point number equivalent for 286.75. Okay. So its equivalent is this. Okay. It is 286.75 is given here. That is what here, one zero zero. Since we have moved here, see like this, we have moved. So this is our two eighty six point seven five equivalent. One is implied. So if you see this, see here, zero 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 four ones zero one one zero 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 four ones zero one one. So just now we have obtained this mantisa part, this portion alone. Because one is as I said, it is a hidden one. No need to write it here. Here. The one we do no need to write while writing uh, while converting then again we will consider as one point yeah so it is hidden value so this is our exponent that is just now we have found uh, we have moved it pushed towards eight so eight plus 127 since we are moving the decimal point towards right we have to add 127 if we move towards left then we have to subtract okay so now 286 but this value is written here and the exponent is written here now floating to decimal this is our floating just now we have found the floating point equivalent of 286.75 now the reverse conversion from this how to obtain this value now that's what here we have done one point so one point we have to write this in that format that is minus one power s which is nothing but zero so we leave it because it is already a it is already a uh, positive number. So 1.001. So here, whatever is three zeros, four ones, zero, one, one. That is what here we have three zeros, four ones, zero, one, one. So we have written into two power E minus bias. What is E? E is nothing but here it is 135. From this, we have found that it is 135. Because from this given number, we are trying to find out this. Okay, So we have to take this mantisa portion and this exponent portion. So how you can write? This is a 1.m format into 2 power e minus e is 135. Bias is 127. So when you subtract, you get 8, 2 power 8. Now what we do is we have to apply the thing and we have to remove this 2 power 8 so that it becomes 2 power 0. So in which case, what you will do? You will keep adding when you move towards this you subtract this value okay when you move towards this side you keep on increasing here when you move like this you increase but when you move towards left right see this is moved like this 
like this. So how many times you are moving till uh, uh, that is eight times you have to go. Oh, this is eight. So eight times you have to move. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So here is a place where you have to put the decimal point and then one, one. So this is your binary fraction, which is nothing but equivalent of this number. 